did live up to the occasion in that last match against Angel City, created that goal for Gemma Bonner, and we'll see if she has some of that same energy today. Really wants Fox to get more touches in the attacking third, specifically in the box. Here's Rodman in the box for Washington. What a goal! Trinity Rodman tucks it in the corner, and Washington goes up 1-0. What a great finish. And you know, she's been waiting for this type of ball all game long. She's so textbook, such a clinical finish. That is picture perfect for Trinity Rodman, her second goal of the regular season. And that's exactly what Washington had been waiting on. Big all ski. To Hatch. Soaring through the air, blocked by Lund, but the second chance finish. It's Elwell, her first NWSL goal, and Washington is up 2-0. What a great follow-up here, too. And don't forget this service in. And this is the difference between Louisville and Spirit. The Spirit players, they're picking their teammates out in the box. They're delivering it to their head and to specific players. And that build-up, it's all starting from the back. Here's McDonald, Nadim in the box. Nadia Nadim scores her second in as many games. Great passing by Louisville right there. And we're going to see Nadim make this pass spin off wide open into the space behind the defense. And this is DeMello all over the field as always. Little layoff. Simple, right? Soccer's a simple game, but this finish, textbook. Keeps it in. Their left foot to Nadim, the equalizer. T-Rex coming through, using her head this time. That's a brace for Nadim. Three goals in two games. And another assist from McDonald. These two have great chemistry. They really do. We talk about how McDonald is not only a great scorer and how well she sees the field and the assist she gets. I mean, what a perfect ball. But Credit Nadim, I mean, just going up as high as she can jump. And Baisley just deflecting it right past Kinsbury. A little T-Rex action there. There's a final whistle. Heartbreak again for Washington. They had the lead at halftime 2-0. They give up two unanswered and racing Louisville sneaks out of Segra Field with a point.